Hey guys, so we just very recently got a reveal drop from Monolith in their latest live stream, which was quite low key I might add. And I have to say, I do really like Monolith's style and their community manager is such a cool guy too. So, in this reveal trailer we got to see the opening cinematic for the Blade of Galadriel story expansion, which will be releasing next month in February and in this video I just wanted to share some of the current information we have about this piece of DLC, as well as speculate a little. Firstly, we will be playing as Eltriel, who you guys should remember from the main game story, as she is the hunter of Nazgul. And this piece of DLC will let us take control of her after her final scene in Shadow of War, where her fingers have been cut off. And the Bright Lord has merged with Sauron as they both fail to defeat him. And this is where the opening cinematic takes place in the Shadow of War timeline. So, it seems Eltriel then comes face to face with the Lady Galadriel and is ordered to go after Talion since he is now in the process of becoming a Nazgul. And even though she did not want to, she wasn't left with much of a choice as Gladriel stated she can't come home until the deed is done. So Eltriel now has the new ring of power as well as the light of Galadriel and is about to begin her hunt for Talion which will take place during the time of the Shadow Wars. Which is pretty interesting considering this is at a point where we the player are still playing as Talion within the main game. So I wonder when the final boss battle between Talion and Eltriel happens if we will get to switch back to Talion at the end of the fight. Since we know Talion and eventually becomes a full Nazgul after years of holding back the darkness and is set free to die when the true one ring is destroyed by Frodo way in the future. So this means no matter what Eltriel does she will fail her mission in the end of trying to kill Talion and I also believe the new ring of power will get destroyed somehow and Eltriel will either become corrupt, abandon her mission or simply die. Although the fact remains we will have these new light warding powers to play around with and when we do finally face Talion as Eltriel we will also have to remove remember, Talion has Isildur's ring, has taken Sauron's fortresses and commands an army of orcs as well as having the ability to raise the dead. I mean even with the light of Galadriel and the new ring of power, this is going to be one tough and truly epic fight between the two. Now I also think it would be quite cool if we get to have some mini boss battles with Talion's best orcs, and if they are actually sent from our armies from the base game world where we play as Talion. So for instance our overlord in Seragos will attack Eltriel in the DLC. I mean that would be a whole new level of mind blown. All in all it will be very interesting to see how Eltriel's fate plans out since we already know she cannot be successful. But other than that guys this was just some quick info and speculation from the opening cinematic as well as live stream from Monolith. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching and I shall catch you guys in the next one.